Um, this is an electrostatic. We're going to look at the electric field. It says two sphere P and Q carrying a charge of three times ten, positive three times ten to the power negative nine and negative five times ten to the power nine respectively. Um, 20 meters apart is shown in the diagram. It says R is a, is, is a point which is R they were talking about these two charges and the distance between them and uh, there's point R now it's not a charge it's just a point it is a 15 centimeter to the right of Q on the line of joining the center P and Q now guys the question now it says calculate the magnitude of the net electric field at r guys i skipped and i cut off the other questions where it wants the definition it wants the the forces between the two i think you get that by now but now the question it says it wants the net electric field now guys what do you need to note that point r it's in the field of q it's in the field of q which is it's in the electric field of what of q as well as r it's in the field of p by saying that r is experiencing an electric field strength due to q and r is experiencing an electric field strength due to p Right, since this is positively charged, since P is po Q is positively charged, there will be field lines that will go this way. Field lines that will go this way, that will go towards. And then since um, P is negatively charged, the, there are field lines that are going this way. Um, that are not only that, guys, I'm just giving you an idea by doing that. So, what do you need to understand? Um, a charge Q is is, 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 is giving these field lines. So, now at this point, we want to know what is a field strength that is experienced by, by, by R at this field um, of, of Q. So now if you look at their field lines, the field lines of Q, since they are negative, they are attracting, they pulling the, the point R towards itself, which is to the left um, at this distance that is 15 centimeter. If you look at the P, P is pushing away the, the point R um, which is the direction of the electric field strength that is experienced by R due to P. It, the direction is going to go to the right because it's repelling, it's pushing it, it's pushing it away. So now I'm going to calculate the electric field um, strength of P on R uh, plus the electric field strength of Q on R and then I'll get the net of that now between the two formulas there's this formula of the electric field uh, strength is equal to F over Q and this formula that says electric field strength is equal to K Q R squared the formula that I'm going to use I'm going to use this formula why am I going to use this formula because I have the charge um, that emits the electric field lines and I have the distance between them so I can calculate that so now calculating the electric field of Q on R it's going to be electric field of Q on R um, it's 9 times 10 to the power 9 times um, what is Q 5 times 10 to the power negative 9 all divided the distance it's going to be 0 0.15 square and the answer when you punch that in the calculator um, quickly it will be it will be 2000 2000 newton per coulomb and the direction the electric field of Q 
it's going to the left they're going towards so it's going to attract um, that point so it's to the left and then now we are going to do the net the net electric field it's the net of uh, P on R plus the net the electric field of Q on R so the P on R it's to the right is 22408 um, plus minus 2000 is 2000 it's negative it's going to the left so when you punch that in the calculator you have negative 1779 comma five nine um, newton per coulomb and then you interpret that negative what does it mean it's the it's the one thousand seven hundred and seventy nine point fifty nine newton per coulomb uh, to the left